Hello, Warrior Nation. Chris English here, and joined with me is your head men's basketball coach, Lance Von Vogt, and the player of the game, Terrence Storyway. Coach, I'll start with you. Percentage-wise, when you look at free throw shooting, three-point shooting, field goal shooting, you guys were well below your season averages, but you guys hung tough and found a way to win. Can you tell us, what, what, what did you tell your team at halftime as you guys were trailing by two at the break? Well, you know, I, I actually thought that we were going to come out and shoot well in the second half because we got all the looks we wanted in the first half. You know, we shot 26% from the field in the first half, but we missed 12 layups in the restricted area. And uh, we missed about uh, eight wide open threes with at least six feet of space, which is what we work on every day in practice is creating those shots. So I felt really comfortable. I thought we were going to bounce back and make some shots in the second half. So I told them to stick with the same offensive plan, but let's go ahead and finish, right? But that we were going to have to ratchet up and, and, and correct some of the defensive mistakes that we made late that allowed them to get the lead at halftime. We were leaving, we were leaving and overhelping, and we were leaving shooters on the ball side, which is something we don't do. Um, and then I thought that defensively we corrected that in the second half. I thought our three zone that we switched to when we were down 13 really gave us a push to come back into the game. Uh, that second unit that came out there did a great job, but really we didn't shoot any better in the second half. We just kind of gutted it out. It's one of the ugliest wins of my career, other than the beautiful shot that Taryn made at the end. I mean, you know, and, and so we'll take it and uh, we'll learn from it and we'll come back tomorrow. We play a really good UC, Met, UC Merced team, um, you know, tomorrow at 4 o'clock. And that brings us to Taryn Storyway, who hit the miraculous buzzer beater, the reason why I'm losing my voice on the call absolutely went crazy. Just take us through that last play. What's going through your mind is not only do you have to corral a pass that's thrown the length of the court, but you have to turn around and shoot it. It's crazy, but we drew it up. You know, we had a timeout, and it wasn't even supposed to be to me, but I seen the ball was short. So I was like, you know, it was an opportunity to knock down a shot, and I feel like my brothers trusted me, and we got the dub tonight. Well, the Warriors are victorious 59-56 to over the Pioneers. They'll be back in action tomorrow evening as they take on UC Merced. For more Warriors coverage, head to jessupathletics.com.